Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y version. In the previous video we got the first gym badge. In this video we're going to be using said gym badge to teach a certain Pokemon the ability to use strength as soon as I can actually successfully navigate and access the PC. Let's use someone's PC, organize our boxes, and change these suckers around. Now we're going to take Dunsparce out of our party and replace it for Tyrant. For the reason that Tyrant's basically run its course. I apologize if you really wanted to see me use it on my team, but the fact of the matter is, I just kind of don't want to use it. Anyways, we're going to go to our bag now and go in the TM section. And now we're going to use the HM Strength. We're going to teach that to Samael. He's going to learn Strength, so we can not only use that HM outside of battle. And we're probably going to replace it for a Defense Curl. Let's be honest, though, <laughs> the moves on this thing really don't matter. And ta-da! Defense Curl is forgotten and strength has been learned. Super. So now that that is done, we're going to basically connect this town and the previous one. By doing this, well, we should probably get on our bike since it's way faster. Gosh, I just really love this um bike theme. It sounds super, like, Japanese, but I don't know. It's just really enjoyable. Anywho, we're going to come all the way up here. And right in this cave is going to be basically some rocks. We can test our strength of our Dunsparce with. Ugh. Yeah, I really like the uh, HM little thing. It's pretty cool. We're going to push this aside and get this Pokeball, which is TM40, which is Aerial Ace. Now we're going to be using Aerial Ace. Hmm. Actually, we're going to be using the TM to gain access to the move, which is going to be really good. And we're going to give this to Jackie at the moment, because Jackie really can't have enough moves. Like, seriously. Alright, so let's get rid of... Hmm, Karate Chop, Arm Thrust, or Work Up. Work Up is pretty decent, so I guess we'll get rid of Arm Thrust. I'd really like Swords Dance on him, but... Something's telling me a panda can't learn Sword Dance on you. It now has Air Lace, a move that can never miss. It's pretty alright. Not amazing. I also want to go back in my bag and turn on Repels. We might need a couple. Alright. Oh, I'm actually in key items. Never mind. There they are. Uh, the sound it makes when you make repels. I don't know why. It just really amuses me. Anywho, that's not what we're going to do in here. So we're going to come down. I should probably take these skates off and get in the bike. Alright. See, now we could push this boulder. And this is the other side of, like, the Zubat Cave, if you couldn't tell. So that's pretty darn nifty. Let's come down here, though. You can probably tell. Oh, actually, let's push this aside, too. It's got all these rocks out of the way. Might as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, see? They're connected. Ooh, it's the lady that heals her Pokemon up. Might as well do this right now. And these skates are so slippery, man. I should probably use the D-pad, but I just can't bring myself to do it. Perfectly honest with you. And yeah, oh, we, <laughs> the repels run out that quite. Goodness. It's pretty ridiculous. Anywho, that's pretty much all we had to do in here. I'm not going to go back to that town because there's honestly no reason for me to do that. And yeah. Go down here. Whoa, it's stinking cool. Now, there's really one thing left to do, and that is to progress the game. We're going to Route 10, and no, I don't really need another Repel. Let's actually switch around our party a little bit. I'm gonna have Excalibur out front for this part. Switch him with Jackie for the time being. There we go. Super. I should, probably should have deposited Samuel. Yeah, I'm gonna do that real fast. I'm gonna deposit uh, the Dunsparce and get back our Duo. And alright, now that our main party is basically reunited, let's go into Route 10, which is Mahir Trail. Let's battle this dude, what's going on dude? This place is flowering with power. I often come here to recharge, and this is actually the first introduction of a Psychic. Personally, one of my favorite archetype of enemy trainers. He's gonna send out a Solus. Or solo assist. I don't, I don't exactly know. Now Excalibur is gonna rip this thing to shreds with his ghost type attacks. All right. I basically want to get some EXP just on our guys because, as you can see, this Pokemon we are fighting is actually higher level than we are, and that's just not gonna fly, man. <laughs> so we're probably gonna be doing a little bit of battles in this episode. And hey, Excalibur got a level 21, and at this level, he doesn't learn anything. Darn, I think it's the next level. <laughs> and yeah, that guy was pretty easy. You actually reference over 9,000. Which is really lame. And a really dated uh, meme, if you ask me. Anyways. Oh my, I didn't want to fight you. Ugh, whatever. They're just stones, right? What are you talking about? And this is, oh my gosh, a tourist. <laughs> the most disgusting of all archetypes. And she's going to send out her jump off. Or skip loom. It's not a jump off at all. And we're basically just gonna fury cut this thing to smithereens. And why would you have to be lame and you stinking stun spore? Seriously? Gosh. 
works. Making me use items and whatnot. So we're gonna go into our status restoring items. Use a paralyzed heal really quickly. And get Excalibur back up in shape. We're gonna temper the blade and make sure that he's healed. Here comes Fairy Wind. Ooh. Did like nothing. <laughs> so, we're going to try that again and hopefully not get paralyzed and Hmm. This game really hates me, dude. I swear. And alright, let's see. That doesn't even do half. Come on. Goodness. And I swear, if I get paralyzed, I'm literally gonna flip out. This is really annoying. Okay, super. I didn't, and as a result, won't have to flip out. It's not like I'm contractually obligated to flip out every so often or anything. And Fairy Wind seems very lackluster to my Fury Cutter. It's gonna do a ton of damage. Awesome. It's really annoying how they just spam status elements, like there's no way to win, really. As long as you're, like, slower. And Gogur gotta level up and wants to learn takedown, yeah. Seems like a pretty decent move. Let's get rid of... Yeah, we'll just get rid of growth for the time being. It seems like a Skiddo is somewhat of a mixed physical attacker and special attacker, so that's pretty cool. It's not really too fast, though, and oh no, a Dunsparce! Everyone call the cops! We're gonna send out Jackie to show this guy who's boss. And yeah. Come to think of it, I probably could use Jackie and his aerial lace to take down that guy too, but if they're paralyzing me, it doesn't matter regardless. And yes, we all know about your mold breaker. Now there is a rumor going around that there's a like item that you can use that'll actually switch the Pokemon that you use it on, switch their abilities. So if it has mold breaker and iron fist, just like Panchan does, you can actually get the other ability, which is a really cool addition. I really hope that's not just a rumor and it's actually true. But you never know when a game just recently comes out like this. <laughs> Alright, Jackie got a ton of EXP from that, and VV is level 25, and Dedua is level 19! I should probably stop saying that because, well, the information is readily displayed on the screen. Yeah, and we're gonna get rid of Rage here for Pursuit, just so we have a little bit better type coverage. Can't hurt. Alright. So now she's gonna send out an Azarel. I think... I think Jackie can stay out here. Or Azumarill, actually. It's not Azarill. Alright. So this thing... Hmm... Let's try a Slash. Now, the smart thing would have been to go into Go-Go and just done Leaf. Razor Leaf, but... Eh, I don't know. Let's see how much this can do, actually. Oh, not enough, apparently. Yeah, that'll whittle it down eventually, but... It's just gonna take a while. Well... Uh. I hope you guys don't mind seeing battles. I honestly can't get enough of them. I just really love seeing what types of moves enemy trainers use and what they look like and rollouts repetitiveness. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys are not... If there's something I could do to make this playthrough more enjoyable for you guys to watch. I mean, it's already as enjoyable as it can be for me to play it. It's just a game. There's not much I can do outside of that. But if it's there's something you're not enjoying, like you don't want me talking over the cutscenes or you want me to just shut up entirely, just say it. I mean, feedback is extremely important in YouTube. YouTube isn't like any other medium in the world. Because you can directly control what you view. If, you're, if you hate when this guy just burps loudly in his videos, say! Like, hey dude, we like the videos, but you can chill out with the burping. He'll probably do it! That's just the way this site works, you know? Mostly the people, though, not the site. And hey, it's like a modern day Stone Edge. It's pretty cool. I don't know what type of wild Pokemon are in here? Let's find out. They're probably just gonna be repeats, though. Of older generations. But hey, who's this dude? Oh, uh, stop right there. I remember you. You're the one who foiled our fossil finding plans. And now you're here, standing around these stones. Do you have any idea what they even are? Of course you don't. You know nothing about the legend of 3,000 years ago and say... Wait, what did I say? This guy uh, seems a little crazy and it's Team Flare at it again. This guy apparently we battled prior. Let's see if he learned from his past mistakes. He's gonna send out the same Houndour. Eh? And we're gonna send out our... Ooh, this is not a desired matchup, especially when Excalibur is still paralyzed. So we're gonna send out Jackie to dispose of this Houndour. I mean, oh man. <laughs> Houndour's sprite may look very simple, but it's very effective. And all right. So depending on what he does, he just uses Roar. <sighs> That's annoying. Come on. Okay, it's you, which is not very good, because my Psybeam won't do anything to it. Hmm. Let's just try and send out Jackie and hope he doesn't use Roar again, because that'd be very, very annoying. If you can tell. And Jackie, just stay out here, bro. 
and used Bite, awesome. Now Bite is going to be resisted, so that means we're going to retaliate with a Cross Chop. Actually, not a Cross Chop, a Karate Chop. <laughs> and just hopefully do a lot of damage. So Smog, going to do mediocre poison damage, not too afraid of that. And come on, one hit kill. Yes, that's the Jackie I know and love. Super. So now, his second Pokemon, if I remember correctly, was a Zubat, so he'll probably remain a Zubat. And hey, Excalibur learned Aerial Ace, which is going to replace for Automize. I've tested around with Automize a little bit. Not personally a fan. I think Swords Dance is just a little better. Hmm. No, right. So, <clears throat> oh, it's actually a Golbat now. That's interesting. We don't have anything as of yet to just take down a flying type. However, Golbat is actually part poison, so we can still cheat around the system a little bit and use VV here. So, it's Golbat and whoa, Golbat looks awesome if you ask me, dude. It's really cool. I still haven't seen all the models, and ha, I'm actually not psychic type yet, so I'm just fire, and you're gonna get a side beam to the face. Whether you like it or not, mister, and come on, really? That has been happening far too much. We're <laughs> just survival like 2 HP. The last gym battle was just so annoying. <laughs> And alright, the goal bat gets taken down, righteous. So, Team Flare, you still kind of suck. Do I need to contact your supervisors or something to make you more of a challenge? What's up with that? <laughs> alright, I really like how the Team um, Flare people have like in-game sprites. That's pretty cool, or models. I guess we should saw them, you little punk, you. Uh, were you some kind of trainer prodigy or something? Yeah, kind of. And I don't know, guys, apparently getting a phone call. I see. Roger that. Hmm. Hey, uh, gotta love the holocaster. I can uh, updates on my mission in real time. Such a stylish device. Uh, whoever thought this thing up must have been one stylish individual. And then on that note, it's time for me to scream with style. Alrighty. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we can't chase past that dude, and I'd really want to get this item. But at first, we're encountered by a random wild encounter. Whoa, and it's a sigilip. Dude, that is really stinking cool. It's a pretty high, um, high level Pokemon too, and oh goodness, we are still paralyzed. That just won't do in Psywave. Why, Psywave? Why do you do so much damage to my Excalibur? Why is that so annoying? Okay. Darn, it seems like we just can't one-shot things today. What is up with that, man? I don't know. He's gonna use Tailwind, which would be really useful in a Wi-Fi battle. However, you're just a wild Pokemon, bro. I don't think it's gonna save your butt today. The Psybeam's gonna be partially resisted. Actually, yeah, it's gonna be resisted. Oh no, goodness. I guess we have no choice but to run because I keep forgetting to actually heal Excalibur. So we need to do that. <laughs> and I wonder if some people are like, why would they name a Pokemon Excal Excalibur? That's so stupid. I don't know, they're just nicknames. No, right? We can use a Hyper Potion or a Super Potion too. I think you can get Hyper Potions now. Should probably go get some at the shop. I'm gonna use one on Jackie too. Even though we're relatively close to a Pokemon Center. I just don't want to take the risk. I want to have my whole party alive so I can have everyone get pretty good EXP. And let's... Oh, we can't get that from this angle. Oh, let's go around. We gotta wait for this dude. Okay, good. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. And it's a Thunderstone. Cool. That may come in handy. That other item back in the old third town was a Leaf Stone. Sorry I didn't point that out. But, to be perfectly honest, I thought it was just a normal item, and hey, it's another member of Team Flare. I don't like the looks of this. We're gonna put Jackie in front. Actually, let's put Gogurt in the front. I'm very curious to what this battle has, so let's see what happens. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you don't remember what I'm talking about, you remember with all the little pegs, and there's an item, and I said it's not that important. It's actually a Leaf Stone, so if you have a Pokemon that evolves from a Leaf Stone, maybe you caught an Oddish back near that castle. There you go, and oh no, it's Team Rocket, Flare Ground. It's really disappointing how they don't actually have, like, real names. Like, you know, like, in the other games. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Because usually, like, you can remember what some of your favorite Rocket Grunts said. As far as, like, like victory, or, no, not really victory, because Team Rocket Grunts never win. More so, uh, when they lose, like, oh no, I dropped the lift key. And you'll be like, oh, that's my favorite Team Rocket Grunt. I remember him. His name was Phil. You know, I don't know. This is my opinion. And it's Electronic. Um, can't really do much to Gogur here. He's pretty resilient to your electric attacks, if you haven't realized. He's gonna get another level up. Mmm! We're getting levels really darn fast. It seems as if this game just, like, the first couple levels are relatively low, and then it just escalates extremely quickly. I don't know a Krogunt. 
trust me, I learned my lesson from back in that cave. Krogunk is a poison and fighting type. I know that probably like drove half of you insane, but bear with me. It's been a while since I've played fourth generation. It's actually the generation I've played the least because my fourth generation game got stolen like the day after I got it. It's really lame, but oh well. It taught me a valuable lesson. Don't leave your crap just laying out in the open. Not even in your own house. And all right, we beat the Krogunk because it's four times weak to you, Psychic, and all right. And all right, we have successfully defeated the Team Flare Grunt, and well, that's how you're gonna be, booby boo! And we get not a lot of money, but we got a power herb, so that's pretty cool. These guys seem to be cheap skates. They don't really give us a lot of money. Now, I really don't want to battle this guy, so I'm gonna take my time. I think that's a girl, actually. It's so hard to tell. Is it not hard to tell? I feel like I'm the only person that <laughs> can't tell. Let's actually skip this dude, because honestly, I don't care what he has to say. I don't care what Pokemon he has. I'm just gonna skip him. And if he's not okay with that, then he can just rot in a gutter. Hmm. And I don't want to fight you, tourist. Oh no, I gotta fight you, darn it. To have a battle at a famous sightseeing spot. Oh, this makes a great memory. Uh-huh. So this little lady, she's not little, she's disgustingly old and crepid. Is gonna throw out a Drift Bloom, a very disturbing Pokemon to have on your arsenal, if you think about it. Anyways, we're gonna go into, hmm. Honestly, I can't tell, because I don't want him to use a Ghost-type move and Excalibur get hit, but Excalibur's got the only Ghost move on our team. I mean, the worst I could probably do is use Astonish, so I think we'll be alright. And okay, Excalibur, time to show him who's boss. Oh, he used Gus. Good. Good thing we switched out, because that's going to be nullified. It's really weird, we're not running into Grass-types. Let's use Shadow Claw and see how much damage I can do. Oh, it's just going to use Gus anyways. Well, super. We found a pretty decent counter to this Lady's Drift Bloom, which... In all reality, it's like, okay, you can counter one individual trainer's one Pokemon, tell me how cool you are. <laughs> it's like, alright, calm down. And Hippopotas is its next Pokemon. So we're gonna go back into Gogurt and show him who's boss. Now, Hippopotas. Hippopotas. I don't know how you say his name. You never know. I have too many paws in there. Hippopotas. Hippopotas. I don't know how you say it. Anyway, <laughs> it is just a ground type. Just a ground type. However, it has the very annoying move, Sandstream, which is going to force a Sandstorm to appear, which is relatively aggravating because it's going to boost its special defense. So that kind of sucks. It's going to bite us, which ain't even a problem when you think about it. We're going to retaliate next turn. And also, it, the Sandstorm periodically damages your Pokemon, but if it's a rock or ground type, it doesn't get damaged from the Sandstorm. It's like cheating, practically. But down it goes. Unfortunately, when it leaves, it doesn't take the Sandstorm with it. So that's kind of sucky. Mm, at least we're getting a lot of levels relatively quickly. And all right, final Pokemon is Pachirisu. Hmm, we don't really have a counter for that at the moment, so I guess we'll just send Vivi at it to take it down. Even though I really feel like I'm not neglecting to duo at all. I'm just trying to think, like, it doesn't really have that great of moves. Don't, trust me, it will have its time to shine. And Pachirisu, one of the most forgettable electric mouse Pokemon. And we're just gonna use Psybeam here, just because I just, I just love looking at it. I know Flame Charge is technically the stronger move in this situation, but seriously, it just looks so cool. The animation. Not saying that Flame Charge doesn't look cool as well, but I don't know, it's just... I can't describe it. There's just that ever bit of nostalgia packed behind every Pokemon move that I just remember from my childhood. And I just gotta use it. No, no, it's getting pumped! Actually, no, it's using Endeavor. Or Endure. And it's gonna survive with... Huh. I guess I didn't actually do that much. <laughs> I used Endure and it was like, I wasn't even going to kill you in the first place, I guess. Hmm. What a waste of a move. I guess Flame Charge really isn't effective anymore. I'm going to have to use Psybeam and Ember from now on. Alright. We took it down. It was, I wasn't really expecting to lose from it, but it is no more. And yeah, we're... Oh my gosh, we're getting like levels like crazy. And Circle Throw. Circle Throw sucks. It's like Whirlwind, but does damage. Not a fan, personally. Alright, we defeated the elderly woman that is also a tourist. And we also found a white herb. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so we're almost to the city that we're trying to get to, which is none other than Geosenge Town. Pretty cool place. But, oh no, it's a Team Flare guy. Geosenge Town is the town of stones. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alrighty, hey, a Pokeball. Oh, let's try and get that thing really fast. You have to go around. Yeah, there's like a fence. See what this is. Oh, a timer ball. Alright. So a timer ball, if you never played Pokemon before, you just don't ever remember. 
the longer the battle lasts, the more effective that timer ball gets. It's pretty cool, actually. Now I don't know when to put another repel on. I think we're safer away from a uh, well, Pokemon as of late. You can sit on these. They're cool. <laughs> I guess you can have a whole bunch of friends sitting on all those. Or maybe not. Anyways, let's see where this Team Flare guy went to. Oh, apparently over here. Here, this pin squad. Team Flare is going to use the stones on Route 10 and a fantastic treasure to make everyone on our team happy. In this world, the ones who have power are the ones who win with Flare. Mm-hmm. Well, we probably shouldn't let that happen. Serena, what the heck? I need to go chase after that guy. Yeah, that was him. He was here, but he isn't anymore, is he? The only thing is left is a dead end. There's something very weird about Team Flare. Dead end? What are you talking about? It's just another route. Oh, I guess it's not. It's an ancient artifact. Almost make out a door behind there, huh? I guess we can't deal with it now. No, you can't use strength to open up the door. It doesn't work that way. But anyways, we did not honestly a lot. This might be a shorter episode, but we got a lot of battles done. We found a bunch of Team Flare people here. We made our way to Geosyn Town. And in the next video, well, who knows? We don't really have a direction to go except, well, to the east. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope I'll see you in the next video. So, yeah, bye.